Hello everyone, welcome Squad Squad and welcome to Slav Guns. I'm glad to have you here. Здравствуйте всем, спасибо, что вы смотрите мое видео и спасибо, что вы тут на моем канале. Bonjour mon ami, merci per... I should have brushed up on my high school French. And how do we say it in Mandarin? I don't know, but... Isn't technology awesome? And that's the theme for today's video. 331.8 Kestrel updated it. I have the dots in the reticle. Okay. A 1911 is a 1911. An AK-47 is an AK-47. No matter if they're from the 1960s or just earlier this year, Firearms have remained largely the same. After all, there's only so much perfection that can be done to a perfected firearm. This does not mean, however, that modern technology has not improved certain parts of the shooting experience. In my first video on chronographs, I highlighted how the newest $100 chronos have now incorporated features that the more expensive chronographs can only dream about just 10 years ago. Another category of the shooting sports that is primed for tech disruption is the optics market. While great quality glass will always remain essential, technology can certainly improve the experience and how we interact with rifle scopes. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the recently introduced 6-hour BDX rifle scope and shooting system. Today, long-range shooters and hunters are blessed to live in a time where we have so many awesome tools to help us out at the range or in the wild. We have affordable range finders that can give you the target distance out to more than a mile and to accuracy within a few yards. We have a multitude of ballistics calculators ranging from free apps for your Android or iPhone all the way to advanced packages from Kestrel that offer Hornady Fordoff or Applied Ballistics Elite along with the current weather and environmental factors. The scopes we find today can be purchased with advanced Christmas tree reticles or more simple reticles that have markings for bullet drop in various calibers. The 6-hour BDX system is the evolution of the technology and is designed to create a better experience of using all of those devices. 6-hour does this for two devices, the 6-hour BDX rifle scope of your choice and a 6-hour kilo rangefinder. At the heart of the system is what SIG calls BDX or Ballistic Data Exchange. To get an appreciation for what it's like, let's start with what a typical shooting process is for long-range shooter or hunter. To get started, we're going to assume that you have your rifle zeroed at a known distance typically 100 yards or meters, and you have an idea of what your velocity is for the ammo that's coming out of your gun. While a chronograph is not necessary, it is certainly helpful. If you don't know what a chronograph is, or what it does, or why you may need one, take a look at the video I did linked above. When you're at the range, the first thing you're gonna wanna know is what the target distance is. Sometimes this is a known element, and other times it's not. When you're hunting, the deer does not stand at the known distance marker waiting for you to take your shot. For this, you would typically use your rifle scope reticle or other known factors to estimate the distance. The cool kids, on the other hand, use one of these, a laser rangefinder. Next, you would plug the distance into your shooting calculator to come up with the firing solution. 
The old school have the info memorized, the traditionalists have a range card, and the cool kids once again use technology and have a ballistics app on their phone. Rich capitalist pigs use a Kestrel device, such as this, to come up with the dope. Rich capitalist, you know, Slav joke, get it? At this point, you either have to dial in your solution through adjusting your scope's windage and elevation turrets, or you'd use your scope's reticle to hold over the appropriate amount. Whether you dial or hold over is entirely up to you, and whether or not your scope has the appropriate reticle. With technology, as long as your input data is correct, meaning the muzzle velocity and the target distance, and in environmental variables, you should be hitting those targets at long and extended long ranges. After all, it's just physics. Of course, there are also now scopes with bullet drop compensating reticles where you have printed lines or dots to hold for specific distances. The reticles, however, are generally aligned for generic calibers and loads. They are not aligned to your specific rifle and ammo combination. While it may certainly work shorter distances, when you're shooting at long distances, those dots are going to become a guesstimate rather than a solution. With a BDX system, what you're doing is cutting out a number of those middle steps. Once your rifle is dialed in for a known zero, and you know your bullet velocity, all you have to do is range the target with a 6 hour kilo rangefinder, and the firing solution will automatically be transferred to your 6 hour BDX scope reticle, with dots lining up for the correct elevation and windage holds. Done. You do not need to reference a ballistics calculator, and you do not need to dial in your scope. Simply range the target, aim, and pull the trigger. I'm going to do a more detailed dive on the various components, including the BDX scope and kilo rangefinder, in a future video. A great way to think about it is like a Chinese food menu. Ever had the daily specials where you picked one item from column A and one item from column B? Column A is a 6 hour BDX rifle scope, and column B is a compatible kilo rangefinder. Now, you can either select and purchase each separately, or you can buy a combo kit that includes a scope and a rangefinder. The kits range from around $600 to $1,700 MSRP, and the street price is quite a bit below that. For scopes, you have a choice of a 2.5 to 8, a 4.5 to 14, or a 6.5 to 20 magnification. On the rangefinders, you have the BDX compatible Kilo 1000, 1400, 1600, 2200, and 2400. I suspect there's going to be other compatible devices coming soon. What I have is the BDX Kilo 2400 kit, which includes a Sierra 3, 6.5 to 20 by 52 scope, and the Kilo 2400 rangefinder. So let's take a deeper look at how it works. When you get the rangefinder and scope, you must set them up to work together using the SIG BDX app. This is also where you set the basics about your rifle and your rifle loads, and I'll do this in a detailed video in the near future. The app will send the required info to the rangefinder and create a bond between the rangefinder and the scope. Once they're bonded, you do not need to access or have the phone with the app unless you want to change the shooting profile. When you're at the range, the rangefinder is the starting point. The rangefinder finds the range. Duh! What it also does, however, is act as the ballistics calculator, as the rangefinders are loaded with the applied ballistics ultralight engine. Based on the ballistic profile you set up on the app and load it to the rangefinder, it'll calculate the firing solution and then immediately send it over to the scope over Bluetooth. The scope's reticle will then light up with the required holdover for the bullet drop and windage compensation. If you're familiar with rifled scope concepts, you would know that there are either front or second focal plane reticles. With the front focal plane optic, your reticle size grows and shrinks based on that magnification. With the second focal plane reticle, the reticle size remains constant throughout the magnification range. The SIG Sierra 3 rifle scopes are hybrid second focal plane scopes, or what they call a digital focal plane. The reticle is indeed a second focal plane, 
and the reticle size remains constant throughout the magnification range. What is unique, however, is that the bullet drop compensation will automatically adjust as you adjust the scope's magnification. As a second focal plane reticle with the requirement to have the lights dot up, the reticle is a bit on the thicker side of a second focal plane scope, and this is the common complaint you'll find about this particular scope. While I can certainly see the reason why somebody would complain about it, personally, I got used to the thickness of the lines the more I used the scope. Do keep in mind that the top half of the reticle is fairly empty, so you have plenty of space to spot for hits. So, who is this for and what are the limitations? This is a really great question and one we can discuss for half an hour by itself. I feel there are two primary candidates for the scope, hunters and new precision shooters. And based on my interactions with people who have checked mine out over the past two months, it seems to be spot on. For hunters, this system is a no-brainer. While in full disclosure, I'm not a hunter, you don't need to be a chef to know that a steak is made from cows. A hunter is not sitting in one place shooting at a stationary target frame, which you would find at a shooting range such as this. Your animal is going to be at various distances. As we discussed, while at distances at around 200 yards or less, the ballistics are not going to have a major impact, go out further and hunting at distances common out west, this system works. Simply, range your target, and the firing solution is automatically loaded into your scope. Where I have differing thoughts is on a second group of people who seem to love the system, new shooters to the precision rifle world. Now I know you're probably asking yourself, блин, какие у тебя претензии к этой системе? Она делает все, что ты хочешь и еще больше. So let me address that. From my first real experience with the system, I went out to a range where I've never shot before and which had no known target distances posted. I was able to range the steel targets and go one shot, one hit from 100 to 700 yards by simply ranging the target, holding over the scope and pulling the trigger. This is certainly the Staples easy button version of precision shooting. Other people at the range, particularly a few people who were there paying for a long-range shooting class, were also thoroughly impressed. On the other side of the equation, while I can certainly see it being a great tool to introduce new shooters to long-range shooting or hunting, I can easily see it being used as a crutch, and I fell for it. Because it's so dang easy to shoot long-range, you kind of lose your mind when things don't work out and you have to dial yourself. Is it likely to happen only when you're trying to range in adverse shooting conditions? My one trip to the extended long ranges was also during a day when I kept switching between torrential rain and snow and the rangefinder would have issues trying to get a clean reflection past 600 yards. Now in full fairness, 95% of gun owners are not going to go out and shoot in those conditions and it was snowing fairly heavily. I also am fairly confident that with more use, I would remember that I can simply swap out the function on the scope to light up and work as a BDC reticle with known distances, considering I knew the gun's velocity and I knew the wind conditions. There is also a limitation with the system as it comes to using the BDX combo kits. The engine used in the app and the rangefinder is the Applied Ballistics Ultra Light Engine, which is limited to 800 yards. If you're going to try to range something past 800 yards, the system is going to tell you that it's out of range. This is, of course, where being a rich capitalist pig comes in handy. You can add either a Kestrel 5700 device with Link or a Garmin Fortrex to the mix. Both of those devices run on the Applied Ballistics Elite engine, which will get you a firing solution out past 4,000 yards. Thanks to my friends at Ruger, I was able to use the Ruger Kestrel 5700 device and pair it with the rangefinder and shoot beyond 800 yards. In order to get it to work, what you would do is pair the Kestrel with the rangefinder and you would switch the rangefinder to the ABE mode. In this mode, when you range the target, 
With the rangefinder, instead of using the applied ballistics ultralight engine, it would send the distance to the Kestrel device. The Kestrel takes into account all of the weather variables and uses the applied ballistics elite engine to come up with a firing solution. It sends it back to the rangefinder, which sends it to the scope. All of that happens quickly without having you make any inputs. Technology is awesome. Once I get more comfortable with the Kestrel, we'll do a video on it and what makes the Ruger version special. That's the introduction to the SIG BDX system. I hope you learned something new, were able to learn about the system, or if you already have a system, I was able to address some questions. The big thing for me was how can we get this to shoot past 800 yards and we were able to solve it and it works brilliantly. In a future video, I'm going to take a more detailed look at the scope and we're going to take a deeper dive into the rangefinder and go over all of its features and options. As always, thank you for watching. Спасибо, что вы присоединились ко мне, к моему каналу. If you liked the video and you learned something new, make sure to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos on the SIG BDX system, other videos in our precision rifle videos, and starting soon, our coverage of the NSSF SHOT Show 2020, where we'll be at the media day and at the show, bringing you lots of new, awesome content. Thank you again, keep on squatting, and I'll see you next time. Alright, cool. Slav, James Slav. Cool.